Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Dark Angel Beauty and I am Andy, the host of the page. So today I'm going to show you guys something that I've been talking about for a while. Uh, you guys have heard me kind of talk about my weird OCD obsession with making sure I have backups of stuff. And today I'm going to share with you one of my backup stashes. This is my backup brow stash. I keep all my backup brow stuff in this big old bag right here. Pretty, pretty, pretty glittery bag. Glass like my soul. It's great. But I honestly don't even remember everything that's in this bag. So I figured not knowing what really was going to happen with this video, I was just going to open it up and show you all the stuff and uh, maybe rediscover some stuff with you guys. So without further ado, let's see what's in this big old bag. Um, I, and I say like, I don't know what's in here. I know some of the stuff and I'm not going to show you guys all the stuff because there's a lot in here, honestly. Um, oh God, there's so much more than I remembered. Oof. Oh yeah. So I actually used this one today thinking about this video. I was like, I know I have this thing. I've never used it. This is the Too Faced Brow Envy palette. It's a nice little brow palette. I don't typically like this kind of brow stuff, so I don't use it primarily, but it actually, I mean, my, my brows look pretty good today, so it actually did a great job. So weirdly enough, um, Nikki actually got this for me for my birthday like two or three years ago, and I didn't know, like I had maybe seen something about it, but I never really thought about it. Um, like I said, it's a great eyebrow palette, and obviously if he's willing to help me make this channel into what it is, he cares about my makeup and he cares about my passion. Um, so he picked this out for me and I really had never, I never mentioned it to him. I never thought anything about it, but he knows me really well. He knows my brows are my big thing. So he got this for me. And like I said, I tested it out this morning. One thinking about this video and two, I want to do like a series called brand highlights where I highlight a lot of products from one brand, even if it's not quite a full face. And I was like, oh, well I've got two face brow products. So let me test this out. So I really like, they look good. I really like how it turned out this morning. Um, so yeah, so this was a cool one in here. I'm just gonna pull out, like, there's a whole bunch of brow pencils and boxes, and I'm just gonna pull out a bunch. <laughs> Hi, my name is Taylor, and I have a problem. Oops. These are all brow pencils. This is, I don't even know what they are. And the worst part is, is like, they're from when I had different colored hair, so some of them probably are way too light for me now, because for a long time I was like bleach blonde. And, yeah, I've got, this is an AVH one in taupe. This is an IT one in blonde. This is the NYX one I just got in auburn. This is another AVH one in taupe. I got more, I got ash brown. I've got, I just have all of these different eyebrow pencils that I've just been accumulating for years. This is from like when I, before I even started really getting into makeup, I found these Maybelline they have like little like smudgers at the end that kind of add color to it. And I actually really like that. So I bought some more of them. Um, like I said, I had started using them like long before I even really was, knew what I was doing with makeup. But I like the just the little color applicators on the end. So I bought a couple backups of those because they were on sale at Ulta. I just, there's just so much in here. Oh, this is a Benefit Gimme Brow Volumizing Microfiber. I guess it's like one of like the little clear gel pens I, it looks like a sample size so I guess I got that in something this is really bad you guys I did not realize how much I did not know about my own makeup oops I think if, if I had to say most of my eyebrow stuff probably is going to be either ABH NYX or Benefit just because I know those brands really well and I know they work really well for me a lot of the other stuff may have come from like sets or kits or stuff I got I have oh yeah this is the brow gal I'm pretty sure I know I've heard of this brand before. I, it's still in the packaging. I've never even removed the plastic from it. I think it came in an Ipsy like a year ago. This is the Cabrow from Benefit. This was like probably the first high-end brow product I ever bought. Um, I bought them two at a time because that's what I do because it's who I am as a person. And I still have the original one in my main makeup bag because it lasted me forever and I wasn't expecting that. So I've got this. I've got a backup of that Becca one that I showed you guys in my tutorial. I have another ABH box still in here. I've got a backup it one. I have that tart one I used in my tart video. And then I've got, I've gotten so many brow products from this brand called Chella and I'm pretty sure they all came in Ipsy's. I've never used any of them because that's just what we're learning about me today. 
Looks like I've got... Oh, huh, this is a NYX pomade. Yeah, that's a NYX pomade that's probably from 2014, if I guessed. Like right when I was starting college type. Yep, that's probably about how old this one is. <laughs> Yikes. Um, we are getting close to the end. I know I haven't really given you guys like a deep look at all the products that I've pulled out, but that's because there's just so many. <laughs> oh, these are so cute. I don't remember getting these. They're babies. Look at, there's in one in shade one and one's in shade three. And they are the gimme bra. I think they're like the little brown brow ones. They are, they're so cute. <gasps> that would be fun to have in like a sample size video. I really did not remember these at all. Look how tiny they are. They're so tiny. I wish, uh, I guess this would, I guess this would be the closest thing to it. They're not quite the same thing, but like, look, it's the mama and the babies. They're so cute. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah, I also have like a bunch of things that are supposed to help shape your eyebrows, which I mean, in theory, when they started coming out with these products, I was like, this is really going to help me. And then I never use them because they're very challenging to use. So like, these are like the shapers that you use to like stencil in your eyebrows and you're supposed to like put it on this little guy and then you like hold it in place and do it. I tried it like twice and then I gave up because it's really complicated and uh, they just didn't look good. I feel like I'd rather have my eyebrows look all wonky and uneven, but at least like match their natural shape than this do whatever it's supposed to do. This is like a measuring tape for your eyebrows, if you will. You're supposed to like go in there and be like, the trajectory of my eye to my eyebrow is this on this side and this on this side. And if I divide that by the square root of seven, then it makes my perfect eyebrow shape. And I, I don't get that. I don't like math. I am not a math person. So I was like, all right, these are cool, but I'm never going to use them. So, oh yeah, this, I remember this. I remember getting this. This came in a couple boxy charms ago. It's not opened. It's, oh, I lost the brushes. Well, they're in the abyss now, so goodbye. But um, it's like a little, like, I think it's like a brow sponge that, like, you press it down and the color seeps into the brush and then makes art. I don't know. I don't know. I haven't used it, so maybe it does something cool. And then I've got just, like, a bunch of random stuff. I think this is another. This is, like, a Cabrow. It's, like, a sample size for the Cabrow, which this is the Cabrow. So this, you know, the, once again, the mom and the baby. Um, and then I've got another highbrow, the highlight pencil from Benefit. I've got some random, like, dollar essence eyebrow pencils. I've got, like, a little CoverGirl eyebrow pencil. This is about the smallest I really wanted to love these because they're little ABH uh, brow whiz pens and I really wanted to be like excited when I got these and I tried to use one and literally immediately just broke off onto my eye and like I think it streaked and I was just, I was very disappointed so that whatever but yeah I think this is like it I think we hit the bottom let me see I'm gonna do a shake test we did it Yay! That is everything I have in my brow backups. As you can see, it is excessive and extensive and I had forgotten about half of it. So <laughs> I guess, I don't know, maybe I need to do my eyebrows more frequently than every day. I don't know. But um, it's taken me a really long time to uh, acquire all of this and not go through it. Um, but yeah, I, I think it says a lot about me as a person. I have such a paranoia about running out of stuff that that's why this thing has just amassed into a horrifying number of products that are neglected but like I said because I use my foundations because I use my brows stuff because I use these kind of things frequently that's why I have this paranoia about not having them and I buy them when they're on sale and I accumulate them so that is why it has grown this uh, substantially so I hope you guys enjoyed today kind of seeing a little bit about my collection and about me as a person and uh, this weird neurosis I have for some reason um, if you like this video, I'm sorry. I guess you like my mental disorders. Thanks for supporting me. Uh, please give the video a thumbs up. And if you like our channel, please go ahead and subscribe, hit the notification bell. So that way you can stay in touch with all of my weird idiosyncrasies and you can see every time I show you what my backups are um, because I know we're planning on doing a foundation one soon because my foundation one is almost as bad as this one. Maybe not quite because these are a little bit smaller and easier to hide. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Please stay girly, but with a dark twist. Love you guys.